In this episode, I'm going to teach you three Photoshop basic tools, so by the end you'll be able to turn this old BMW motorcycle into this custom cafe racer using Photoshop. So let's get started. How's it going YouTube? My name is Marcus and welcome to Mount Moto. I'm going to break this video into three parts. Part one, I'm going to show you how to set up your Photoshop workspace as a blank canvas and step by step show you which buttons to click and how to get there. In part two, I'm going to explain the concept of layers in Photoshop and how they're the only concept you really need to understand to get started doing any motorcycle mockups. And finally, in part three, I'm going to show you step by step how to use your new knowledge to create the motorcycle that doesn't exist in this world, your very own dream custom bike. As always, I've marked the sections in the timeline so that you can jump around to sections of the video to get what you need when you need it. So let's get started. When you first open Photoshop, it might look something like this. The first thing you want to do is go to File and select New. This will bring up the New Document interface. From here, you can navigate to the Web tab and select Web Large, as this is the high definition 1920 by 1080p aspect ratio. The next step is optional, but instead of straining your eyes staring at a white screen all day, it's pretty common practice to pick another color. On the right hand side of the New Document dialog box, there's a Background Contents drop down menu. Pick any color you feel like. Once you've done that, hit the Create button in the bottom right hand corner, and well done! We've set up your blank canvas and we're ready to move on to part two. A layer can be thought of as a sheet of clear transparent paper. In this little graphic, this transparent sheet is called layer number one. And right in the middle of it, I've drawn a nose. Now let's imagine we placed another transparent sheet of paper on top of this one this time called layer number two. On this layer, I've drawn two eyes and a smiley mouth. Finally, let's imagine layer number three stacked on the very top. This one has a large circle of the outline of the face. When all these layers are stacked on top of each other, you can see the overall picture, which is that of a smiley face here on the bottom right hand corner. But what is the point of having each component of the smiley face on different layers? Well, it frees you to change out some of these layers later. So if you decided that you wanted the face to be a frowny face, you would turn layer two with the smile off and instead turn on a layer that had a frown drawn on it. Now switching back to Photoshop, we see that on the bottom right, there's a tab in the UI called Layers. We're going to click this and rename it to Base Motorcycle. At the very bottom of the screen, there is a plus button to create a new layer in the Layer tab. I like to create three or four of these layers and rename them just to get started. Now for the fun part of Photoshop. Here I got a folder with various motorcycle photos. I'm going to just grab the photo and drop it into the workspace. Stepping out of Photoshop again for a minute, what we've done here is add a photo to one layer and the other layers are blank. But we only want the motorcycle, none of the background. So we're going to need to use Photoshop tool to draw around the area we want to keep and then cut it out of the layer and paste it into a new layer. Imagine we want to be able to change the rear wheel. We can select the wheel, cut it from the layer that it's on and then paste it on its own layer layer three in this example. What this means is that we can now turn on and off any of these individual layers to only show the components that are on them. If you still didn't understand any of that, just follow along in the next step by step and we'll still get there. Okay, back into Photoshop to make this happen. We need to use the pen tool. It's basically just used for marking around an area you want to select. So again, always making sure you've selected the layer that you want to make the selection from. We're going to use the pen tool, zoom in and click on the outline of the motorcycle the entire way around. When you get the full way around, close the selection by clicking the first point you selected. Back to the right hand box, to the Paths tab. You want the right click on it, make selection. Then you need to press Command and the X key at the same time to cut the selection. What you're doing here is slicing through the base layer of the motorcycle. You now need to put it somewhere. Use one of the layers you created earlier or create a new one with the plus layer box like you did earlier. To paste it, you press Command and P buttons together while you've got the new layer selected. You can press the little eyeball button on the layer tab next to the base layer to turn it off. You should be able to see the old background disappear and your motorcycle look something like this. Let's create a new document in the same way we did earlier. Now let's grab an image with a component we want to add to our motorcycle design. On this one, I really like the back end and want to use the rear wheel and seat to set up. 
Use the same process with a pen to mark out what you want to keep, then cut and paste it onto another layer in the base model. Finally, I'm going to show you the last tool you need to be able to make this look great, the opacity slider. You can select a layer and slide the opacity to make the image more or less transparent. This helps with the overlaying over the old motorcycle to drop it into just the right place. Use the corners to pull to scale the image bigger or smaller. So now you have all the tools you need to be able to cut images and save them to other layers and then turn the layers you want on and off. As always, good luck and have fun.